Now, if your business has branch offices, connecting those together can be a real pain. Often companies aren't necessarily really large, but they have lots of little offices spread out all over the place, even around the world. And overnight, one poor IT admin can be responsible for 50, 100, 150 or more sites. And even though those sites might not be very complex, maybe there are a couple of point of sale terminals or one or two employees working from a remote office. That type of infrastructure requires updating, patching, configuration, auditing, and all the usual headaches associated with having multiple sites. So rather than try to make that part simpler, we thought we'd simply reinvent all the ways that branch offices are plaguing admins. And we do that with a device that we call RED. RED stands for Remote Ethernet Device. And what we wanted to do was make it so that rather than worry about where all these sites are, how would we connect sites if they were all in the same building, but just on different floors? What we would do is we would run switch ports from each floor down to our main UTM firewall. And from there, we could configure them individually, separately, by department, and all of the advantages about having them in the building, we've now ported to a worldwide solution. All you need is a magic number on the bottom of the device. And once you have that, you can then set it up in your UTM in a matter of seconds. This means that there's no special GUI, there's no special login, there's no patching, there's no licensing, there's not even a button. All you do is buy the solution one time for a fixed price, and you never have to manage that particular remote office again. Everything is done centrally from within the product. We do that here by going to RED Management. And what I'm going to do is I've already shipped a RED device to a remote office in Canada. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that using the magic number that I recorded off the bottom of the device ahead of time. All I have to do is click Add RED and I can bring my remote site online. I'm going to give it a name, like Canada Office. And now I have to choose which product it is I'm deploying. We have a RED 10, a smaller box that does about 30 megabits per second that's good for one or two users at the remote site, or a few more at most. We also have a RED 50, which is designed for more employees and has a throughput of around 400 megabits per second, making it perfect for those remote offices with a bit more employees, but still the benefits of RED, all of them apply. All I have to do is punch in the RED ID, which is the unique code off the bottom of the device. I'll enter that now. back to and some other options around networking such as if I want a DHCP address for the red or if I want to sign one statically if I'm using the second host name for internet balancing and redundancy and as well as the operational mode I want the red to talk and communicate in now in standard unified mode all traffic is sent down the red tunnel to the head office this allows me to control the web filtering and full internet surfing abilities of the remote sites that are plugged into the red in standard or split mode, only traffic that's destined for the corporate LAN here at the headquarters will come down the tunnel. Everything else will go locally out their connection there at the branch. And in transparent mode, I gain access to a few more advanced parameters like being able to control the DHCP addresses and other network topology at the remote site from here at the main office. I'm going to use standard unified and then click save. Now what happens is the UTM then takes all of that configuration, bundles it up, and sends it up to a provisioning server that's located in the cloud. We now then watch for that remote site to make a connection. When it boots up, the provisioning server will tell it which product, ours here at the head office, owns that particular red, negotiate the connection between the remote office and our head office, and then it steps out of the way. At that point, we have a dedicated connection between our remote red device in Canada and this head office here. All we have to do now is go back to overview, and in a second we just click refresh and our device will be online. So we can see after clicking refresh that our remote site is now online, and we can work with them as if they were simply upstairs on another floor. In fact, if we come here to dashboard, we can actually see that we will have a red interface once we actually go to the interfaces section and actually create a new interface. And you can see here that we now have a red Canada office that we can work with as if it was a physical port on the appliance itself.